in the first question say sort x over 2 minus 3 equals to 7. So this is a very simple example of solving multi-step equations. So first what we're going to do is we're going to move 3 to the other side. So initially 3 is being subtracted from x over 2. So when you move it to the other side, you're going to add 3. So x over 2 equals to 7 plus 3. Which is going to give us 10. Now on the left hand side, we can see that x is being divided by 2. So when we move 2 to the other side, what's going to happen is that 10 is going to get multiplied by 2 now, not divided, which gives us 20. So basically to summarize this, when you're moving a term from one side to the other side, whatever it's doing on the initial side, it does the opposite on the other side. So if it's being subtracted on the other side, it gets added. If it's being multiplied on the other side, it gets divided. If it's being squared, let's say on one side, on the other side, when you move the square, there's a square root. So next question says, work out the volume of the cuboid. So volume of the cuboid has a formula of length times width times height. Three is your height, nine is your length, and two is your width. So that's going to be nine times two times three, which is basically 54 centimeter cube. Always remember that the units for volume are cube. For area, it's square, and for the perimeter, it's just like centimeter or meter, whatever like the length is. Then just calculate the actual distance from C to D. So we've been given a line CD and they've given a scale where it says one centimeter represents 100 kilometers. So for this, what you would do is you would measure the length of CD using a ruler. Since I'm doing this online, I can't measure this. So I'm going to assume that CD equals to 3.5 centimeter, let's say. So now based on the scale, one centimeter equals to 100 kilometers. So to find the actual distance, we will multiply 3.5 with 100, and that is going to give us 350 kilometers. So that's your answer. Next, it says the weight of a 2p coin is 7 grams. Find the weight of 8 pounds worth of 2p coins, giving your answer in kilograms. So if one 2p coin equals to 7 grams, 8 pounds is basically 800 pence. So for one pence, the weight is going to be 7 divided by 2. For 800 pence, it's going to be 7 divided by 2 times 100, which is basically going to give us 2800 grams. Now the question says give your answer in kilograms. 1 gram is 1 over 1000 kilograms. So 2,800 divided by 1,000 equals to 2.8 kilograms. That is your answer. Then we have three straight lines, and they're asking us to find the size of angle Y. So let's begin with finding this angle first. Since this angle and 151 are on a straight line, there are supplementary angles. Supplementary angles always add up to 180 degrees, which means 180 equals to 151 plus y. So y would be 180 minus 151, and that is going to give us 29 degrees. So this is 29. Then for this one, We have two angles in this triangle now. If you notice this, 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 these three points, they give us a triangle. 
So to find this, let's call this x. x is going to be 180 minus 93 minus 29. Y because the sum of angles for a triangle is 180. So this gives us 58 degrees. So now to find the angle of value y over here, y would have once again be 180 minus 58, which is 122. Since this angle x and angle y are supplementary, this sum would equal to 180. That's how we subtracted 58 from 180, and that gave us 122. To make it simpler, I'm going to replace this y with z so that there is less confusion. So this is angle z, 29, x is 58, and y is 122.